So anxiety at the CIA. That's what the New York Times is reporting tonight over the claim that investigation into the investigators will likely include interviews of senior CIA officials about their roles in the origins of the Russia probe. Plus, Democrats keep up the heat on their vow to get more answers to the questions they say the Mueller probe left behind. Let's bring in tonight two of our top attorneys, a couple of former deputy assistant attorneys in general, Harry Lippman and John Yu. Always great to have you, gentlemen. Thanks. Thanks. Good okay, so let's start with this report. Uh, the New York Times under the headline, Justice Department seeks to question CIA officers in Russia inquiry a review. It says this, the latest sign the Justice Department will take a critical look at the CIA's work on Russia's election interference. The inquiry has provoked anxiety in the ranks of the CIA. John, uh, should they expect this would obviously be part of this look back into the investigators? Uh, the CIA should not be surprised. I mean, Attorney General Barr, I think, is carrying out his duty to find out how it was that the Justice Department, the FBI, put a warrant and wiretaps and launched an investigation into a presidential campaign using the powers that are usually used for counterintelligence. That's a red line that hasn't been crossed since Watergate, in which the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act was designed to stop. So, of course, uh, the Attorney General is going to want to find out where did the idea come from. And look, here's another news flash. Soon you're going to see a leak. Attorney General Barr wants to interview FBI officials, and then there'll be another leak. Attorney General Barr wants to interview Justice Department officials. This is all sort of the natural start of any kind of investigation. The CIA shouldn't be surprised, and they certainly, certainly shouldn't be leaking to the New York mm -hmm. Times that they're upset about being questioned. Yeah, we're not sure where that came from. I, you know, there are many places it could have come from. But Harry, um, our, our own Catherine Harridge says um, that she has been told that there have been no formal requests received by the agency. But certainly, as John uh, stated, it sounds like, you know, the U.S. Attorney John Durham, who's looking into all of these origins under the direction of the Attorney General, um, it seems like he has wide latitude to go back to the very start of this whole thing. Yeah, so I mean, I half agree with John. There's nothing surprising here. Barr has already served this up to Durham, and it makes sense that Durham would talk to CIA folks, FBI folks, etc. If there's anxiety, and I can see that there is, it's not because of this report, but the whole probe. Because the place I disagree with John is some is the some kind of exigency when there are already two probes of this going on, but. This has been a dearly embraced talking point by the president, and to date, and with to, to great disappointment, uh, the attorney general has embraced those talking points. So I think there is nervousness that at the end of the day, the AG might come out that way. On the other hand, Durham is the one who will be making the recommendation up to him. He's done it in the past. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't find any wrongdoing. Nevertheless, while he's on the job, there's a, a continuing talking point of investigating the investigators, mm -hmm. which the president can use in his campaign mm -hmm. ra rallies. Well, someone who's hoping to replace him, Senator Kamala Harris is part of the 2020 field. She's been gaining in the polls, and she's also talking about what the DOJ will be investigating if she becomes the commander in chief. Here's a bit of what she's had to say. Everyone should be held accountable, and the president is not above the law. Even if the men, a former president going on trial, serving jail time? Well, the, the facts and the evidence will take the process where it leads. She's not against prosecuting a former president. I want to get reaction from you both. John, we'll start with you. Well, this is what worries me about a president, Kamala Harris, because she may have skimmed the Mueller report. I don't think she read it closely. She certainly didn't watch Attorney General Barr's press conference about the report, because if she listened, she would have heard Attorney General Barr say, I looked at the Mueller report, and as the Attorney General, I declined to prosecute anyone for obstruction of justice here, including the president. That means under traditional Justice Department rules, the case is closed. The nation's top prosecutor has said we're not bringing charges. It would be the height of irresponsibility and I think really worrisome about tyrannical power if the next president comes in off says, I'm going to overrule, I'm going to reopen all the criminal cases, particularly against political opponents and enemies that were closed by previous mm -hmm. prosecutors and attorney generals and have a whole new look at it and start the whole prosecutorial uh, process over again. Quick final word to you, Harry. Okay, so again, 50% agreement with, with John. I don't think Kamala Harris ought to be talking about who she's going to prosecute and presidential candidates shouldn't. But the big disagreement, it's 100% clear from the Mueller report, he did find uh, obstruction. And what she's saying is whoa, the facts whoa. of the law point that he way. He did 100% not find, clear. He did not. Well, then why didn't he charge the president? Yeah. He did not say, I found a criminal because obstruction of, the, of justice case against true. the president. That's true. He didn't say it. 
but he didn't say it. But the but, and he didn't say, it, and he said why he didn't say it because the OLC uh, policy precluded it. But, but Barr that's what says the he was told by Mueller thousand. and his team it wasn't about the OLC letter. If you read they have to the figure report that out. closely, there's no other conclusion. But in any event, the, the big point is Kamal Harris shouldn't be talking about it. I, so I, I agree in that point, but I disagree that, you, that there's some kind okay. of queen bill of health there. Okay, Harry and John, always great to have you. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks, Thanks Shannon. Thanks, John.